Welcome to this. Can a weapon with 100% accuracy miss? No, it can't miss. But also, yes, it can. Let's dive in and find out what on earth I'm talking about. And also, why auxiliary fire control and line combat computers probably aren't as good as you think they are. Let's start off with some of the basics. How does ship-to-ship -ship combat work in Stellaris? Well, we have weapons and we want to train those weapons on enemy ships to hit them. Our weapons have accuracy and tracking, and our opponent ships have evasion. But how do these combine together to tell us how likely we are to hit the enemy? So, the first number that's important is accuracy. The accuracy rating you have tells you the percentage chance you have to hit the enemy you are targeting. So, for instance, if I have a laser with an accuracy of 90% and I'm shooting at a station which has no evasion, I will hit 90% of the time that I fire my laser. And if I use a weapon with an accuracy of 100%, I will hit my target 100% of the time. But unfortunately, that's not quite where the story ends. So how does evasion fit into this? Well, our enemy ships have an evasion characteristic. This is the chance that the ship will evade our shot. However, this isn't simply the chance to evade a hit, but in fact the chance to evade all shots fired. Well, what do I mean by that? So, if I have an accuracy of, say, 90, like a laser, and my enemy has an evasion of, say, 30, that will mean I will, I will deal damage with 60% of the shots I fire. How does that work? So that is because I have an accuracy of 90, I take away the enemy evasion of 30, and what I've remained there with is the total number of hits I get as a percentage. But there's one more system we still need to consider, and that's tracking. Well, what does tracking do? Tracking directly reduces the opponent's evasion. So let's say, for instance, I have a tracking of 30, that will mean I reduce my opponent's evasion by 30. So in the previous example, I had an accuracy of 90. The opponent had an evasion of 30. If I also had a tracking of 30, that would mean I would hit 90% of the time because my tracking would nullify the enemy evasion. So what is the final equation? Well, your hit chance is accuracy minus evasion but from that evasion, you also have to take away tracking. But that sum there, evasion minus tracking, can never go below zero. And something else I've discovered is that accuracy can never go above 100. Well, what does that mean for things like the auxiliary fire control and a line combat computer, which according to the tooltip in game, add plus five, plus 10, plus 20 to our hit chance. So initially, I've always been a little bit confused about this plus five to hit chance that says uh, that it says in the tooltip. I was never quite sure if that was added to my accuracy or my overall chance to hit. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if it was added to my overall chance to hit, that would mean on a weapon with 100 accuracy, if I were to come up against something with evasion, this would function like additional tracking. So let's say I had no tracking and I came up against a weapon with a ship with 30 evasion and I had 100 accuracy on mine plus an extra 10 to hit from my two auxiliary fire control uh, modules. Well, that would mean that I would get 100 minus 30 from their evasion plus 10 from my extra to hit chance, leaving me at 80. But what's the flip side to this? Well, the other possibility is that it adds it to our accuracy. That would mean in the same situation, I would start at 100 accuracy, I'd get plus 10, which would mean I'd stay at 100 accuracy. You can't hit more than 100% of the time after all. And then I'd take 30 from that and end up at 70% chance to hit. So as you can see, 
if it's added to my accuracy, it's much less powerful than being added to my overall hit chance. If you've been enjoying this video and other videos on my channel, please consider subscribing. It will help get my videos out to other players like you. How can we test this? So what we need to do is find a way of maxing out our accuracy. We'll get a weapon with high accuracy, something like a laser, and we'll put a line combat computer, a sentient one on there, for plus 20 to hit, and two auxiliary fire controls for a total of plus 30 to hit. Now, we'll combat these against some 90% evasion corvettes. So what we should see from the maths is if the to hit bonus is added to our accuracy, which can't go above 100%, we should see that we have 100% of the shots hitting, and then we should have a tracking of, we've got 30 base from the medium weapon lasers here, as well as 15 from the sensors for a total of 45. So 90 minus 45 should be 45% evasion. So with 100% hits, 55% of those should go through and deal damage. So an overall hit ratio of 55%, roughly. Now, on the other hand, if the to hit modifier is added after that calculation, we should start at 90, minus 45, so 90 accuracy, minus 45 down to 45 uh, from the 45 evasion, and then plus 30. So should, we should be up at a total of 75% hit ratio if it is correct that the to hit modifier is added after the equation if it's added to our overall to hit chance. Let's look at what happened. So what did happen? Well, as you can see, the hit ratio here is 55%. 0% misses because we had 100% accuracy and 55% hits overall because we took 100% accuracy minus that 45% net evasion. And it turns out that the modifier, the plus five, plus 10 to hit is added to our accuracy. This means that on weapons that have high accuracy, we're looking at lasers, arc emitters, cloud lightning, disruptors, all of that kind of stuff, there's no point whatsoever in adding anything more, any more, uh, any more to hit chance that would bring you above 100 because it's never going to help you. It's never going to in any way increase your overall damage output by increasing your hit ratio. But what does all of this mean? What does it mean for our weapons and what does it mean for our ship designs? Well, most weapons have small, medium and large weapon types. So if we take an example here, we'll look at lasers. Lasers have small, medium and large weapon types. The larger the weapon, usually the lower the tracking. So with lasers, the small weapons have a tracking of 50%, the medium have a tracking of 30%, and the large have a tracking of 5%. What does this mean? Well, this means if we're shooting at anything with high evasion, we need to make sure that we take small weapons wherever possible, because we're going to have a much higher hit chance with these small weapons than we do with large weapons. So for instance, if I equip a destroyer with large weapon slot with a laser, that weapon, although it has a 90% accuracy, if it's shooting against corvettes with 90% evasion, it's only going to hit 15% of the time, not including any bonuses you're going to be getting from your sensors, which outside of the picket combat computer are pretty much the only way of getting additional tracking on your ship. So this means if you're coming up against swarms of corvettes or destroyers or anything with really quite high evasion, you need to have small weapons. However, if you're coming up against larger ships, cruisers and battleships, which have relatively low evasion between 20 to 40% in the late game, really, you'll be very happy with medium and large weapons. Well, what's, what's the benefit of large weapons and medium weapons? First off, the larger the weapon, the longer the range. So you're going to be shooting first, hitting first, and hopefully getting more shots in against your enemy overall due to that increased range bonus. And in addition to that, the average damage per shot goes up quite a bit. So if we look at lasers, the average damage for a red laser from small to medium 
and usually we can compare two of the size below to one of the size above. So in this case, two small lasers combined will do an average of 4.3 damage per day. On the other hand, a single medium laser does 5.38 damage. This is a red laser. And if we go up to the large size, we can compare two medium lasers. We'll do a total of 10.76 damage per day, whereas a single large red laser will do 12.91 damage per day. So the larger weapons have lower tracking, but a higher damage output when compared to the same number of slots with the smaller weapon type. So how does this all work? Well, Stellaris uses your accuracy to work out if you've hit, and then once you've hit, you have to test against the enemy evasion. Of course, this then means that a weapon can hit all of the time, have 100% accuracy, but sometimes it will still miss. What's the takeaway from all this? Well, the takeaway is that we need to focus on getting accuracy as high as possible whilst also making sure to offset any enemy evasion with tracking. Any accuracy above 100% is completely useless, so we need to make sure we don't equip excess to hit chance modifiers on our ships. It'll be much better equipping different modules, such as the artillery combat computer or the picket combat computer, which will add bonuses we can continue to use at high levels of accuracy. That wraps it up for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you have any feedback for me, please leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. In addition, if you'd like to support this channel, there's a link to Patreon down below in the description.